This is part three in a series of presentations. Here I will talk about designs with three combustion cylinders. Basic information on how the Ulusama engine works can be seen in part one. In part two, I talk about designs with two combustion cylinders. To the left in this picture are three combustion cylinders in line behind each other. They drive a crankshaft and it's connected to a second crankshaft in a 2 to 3 ratio. When the first crankshaft rotates two times, the second crankshaft will rotate three times. A single exhaust cylinder can then serve three combustion cylinders. If we look at the blue exhaust curve from the combustion cylinders and combine this with the yellow curve from the exhaust cylinder, we can see that this creates a very smooth gas flow to the turbo. But as mentioned in part two, exhaust pulses are not shaped like sinus curves. Their shapes will change with RPM and load, and it's therefore better to use a free piston linear generator than a piston connected to a crankshaft. Note on the left crankshaft that I've added a system similar to the hydraulic cam phasers. These are usually used on camshafts to change the timing of the valves. A similar system could be used to change the timing of the exhaust piston. This picture shows three combustion cylinders to the left. To the right is one exhaust cylinder with a free piston linear generator that can also work as an engine. This allows us to smooth out the exhaust pulses before they are sent to the turbo. But it also allows us to shift phase of the exhaust piston. The pulses are then amplified and this gives sharper and more powerful pulses to the turbo. This is not fuel efficient but it helps the turbo to spool up faster and can be used during acceleration. When there is no longer need for extra energy, we can smooth out the pulses again and the linear generator will give us electricity to stock. Powerful pulses are useful when the exhaust flow is lower than the design limit for the turbo, but smooth flow is better when you get close to the limit. This design will therefore help the turbo from low flow to high flow. It's also possible to use a free piston design for all combustion cylinders, but it's much easier to only use a free piston for the exhaust cylinder. There's less force on the exhaust piston, so the piston and the moving part of the linear generator can have a low moving mass, which is efficient. The exhaust piston will also generate electricity every second stroke, which is better than a four stroke combustion cylinder that will only generate electricity during one out of four strokes. There's also less demand on the electronic controller, as the control of the exhaust piston is not critical to the combustion. I therefore believe that it will be relatively easy to build this 3 plus 1 design. This is an inline 6 cylinder engine. Cylinder 1 and 6 move up in tandem, cylinder 2 and 5 move down, and cylinder 3 and 4 are at top dead center. It's a very symmetrical engine. Six-cylinder engines are known for being well-balanced and have low vibrations. Four-cylinder engines have more vibrations, as the speed of the two pistons moving up are not the same speed as the two pistons moving down. Inline three-cylinder engines are essentially half an inline six-cylinder engine. The pistons moving up and down are well-balanced, but unlike the inline six-cylinder engine, there is no symmetry along the length of the engine. Inline three-cylinder engines will therefore rock back and forth along their length. The opposed cylinder free piston linear generator has two pistons that share the same combustion cylinder. It's a well-balanced design. The opposed cylinder free piston linear generator can be used as exhaust piston on the three cylinder engine. It's also possible to apply different power on the left and right piston and these forces can counter the rocking motion of the three cylinder engine. So we have opposed free piston linear as exhaust pistons and a turbo plus a three cylinder engine and this together will give us low vibrations, fast response, and fuel efficiency. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and thank you for your time.
If you like to know more, then contact me on this email address, mats at olsammar.se. Thank you.